what I think is really important is to acknowledge, and, and I learned this lesson by working in so many nonprofit spaces and working in so many philanthropic spaces for so long and seeing that advocacy is great, fundraising yes. is great, yes. but all the fundraising campaigns I've done over the years require people to give us money whether that's to build schools or to fund initiatives or to you know rally for environmental causes. And some people are capable of just writing these big fat checks that most of us are not. And I was struck by learning about their lives, learning about their businesses and realizing, you know, big time investors who are philanthropists have seats at tables that most of us do not. Yes. And if we're not present in the decision-making rooms, how are those decisions being made? Uh, I think we can all look at the current political landscape and understand that if women aren't present in decision-making rooms, we end up with healthcare systems that cover Viagra, but not birth control, interesting. Um, <laughs> we, we also realize, for Nia and I, when, when and, and Katie, our other co-founder, when we were talking about this sort of reinvigoration of Detroit, this re establishing of this great American city, where were women at that table? Yes. Where were women of color at that table? Were they being centered in those conversations? And it was incredibly important for us as a very diverse company to make sure that we were in those rooms, because where was everybody else who looks like us? 